Hello. So this isn't morning, but I'm doing a coffee with Karen later in the day. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun. I got four new Oracle decks and I thought it would be really, because it would be really fun to unbox them together. So I don't know. I just thought, why not try it? See if people like doing it. Because I think it's fun to watch people in their grocery hauls. I know that sounds silly, but like if you ever watch anybody who does grocery hauls <laughs> videos, it's just fun to see what people buy and what they're making and stuff like that. So go grab your coffee or your tea. And it's uh, 5 p.m. for me. It's not too late to have coffee in my house. <laughs> and I'll show you what I got. It'll be fun. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to mention is that I really i am drawn more to Oracle cards. And at the risk of you asking me what an Oracle card is, <laughs> like to, to define Oracle, um, I would just Google that. But it's a little different than how tarot is set up. And like, for instance, one that's already open. So I, I want to do like the actual unwrapping with you. Hopefully, I guess I should have brought some scissors over. I got a pen here. I could, um, but I want to unwrap them all together and see what they look like inside. But like, this is an Oracle deck that I use in the, um, if you if you're in the uh, spirit circle, which is the membership. So every morning this month, we're doing a soul mirror Oracle pull. And just talking about that very briefly. And so what I like about them, for instance, this was the one for today, um, is that they're not, they're not tarot, like they're not specific tarot cards. They give you different messages of things to be working on, the image and then the words. And then we have a chat about those. So typically you're going to find that with Oracle cards. And so when I can get my hands on ones that I really, you know, just you, a deck is going to call to you, you know, so rely, like if these decks that I'm showing you are not, they don't call to you, then that's not the right deck for you. But like, if you look at this deck and you're like, oh, I love that, you know, then that may be something you want to pay attention to. So that's kind of how I, I, it's all about intuition, right? Letting our intuition uh, drive us. And it's okay if you you end up with, you know, I actually saw like, um, they have like Friends Oracle cards from the show Friends. So like there's one from Game of Thrones. I don't know. There's this whole bunch of them. Okay. So the first one is this one. And I had to literally, I had to have YouTube pronounce this, because I've never seen it spelled this way, but this is how it's pronounced. Yagik. 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 Okay. <laughs> Yagik. For those of you who have been around know that sometimes, I and mean, if I haven't seen a word, obviously, or I haven't said it out loud, um, it doesn't come naturally to me. So Yagik the Yagic path, but wait till you see these. These are amazing. So this was um, Sahara Rose, which some of you might know because um, she is the host of a top ranked spirituality podcast, the Highest Self podcast, and is the best, best selling author of Eat, Feel Fresh, An Idiot's Guide to, I can't spell that word. I mean, I can't pronounce that. I'm not, I've never seen that. Uh, it looks like a like an angel or something. Uh, she has been called a leading voice for the millennial generation into the new paradigm shift by Deepak Chopra. She loves making spiritual and, okay, so this word, A-Y-U-R, and you don't have to put it in the comments. It's okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll look it up, but you can, you can, um, Look it up. A Y U R V E D I C wisdom. So that's some kind of wisdom. I'll have to look that up. That sounds interesting. So she's the idiot's guide to whatever that is. I, you'll know if I try to even say it, I'll butcher it. So, um, so that's just part of my personality. <laughs> okay. So the Oracle deck and guidebook. Now this one's big. So I've got three of them. I got uh, four of them, four new ones. And I'll go, I'm going to go over them. 
But these are smaller. This one, I've never gotten such a big one. Here's another one. Um, so those are the four I'm going to go over. So, okay, let's see what it looks like on the inside. I might have to, oh, I got a nail file right here. So, and I'm really hoping, my, my hope is, and you know, it's so much more fun for me doing this together, like even just doing a poll on the public channel or um, now that we're doing them in the spirit circle. And then I'm going to ask the community in the spirit circle, like, which deck do you want to use? Or one, do they want to keep doing it daily or every other day or something? So we're kind of working that out together since the spirit circle is like three days old. And so next month I'll do a poll and, th and then I'll say, you know, first of all, did you like doing it? Do you want to do it every day? We're kind of um, feeling this out together. But then I'll show which decks I have, and then I'll let the group decide if they want to continue doing it. Okay, so it comes in this box. So I love these. Love them with a the magnet here. Are you watching, Luce? Lucy's watching. And I've got this beautiful book. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and I love it. So inside, it's, um, look at that. It's colored pages on the inside. Really cool. Really cool. Okay, and then the cards look like, so they come in this box. So it's basically like a little case here. It's kind of quite sophisticated. And I'll hang on to this because I don't want to throw it into the um, landfill. It would not be good. May these cards bridge you to your highest self. Oh, I love that. May these cards bridge you to your higher self, your highest self. Very cool. Okay, so let's take a look and see what they look like. So that's, and then, oh yeah, okay, so inside it says, may these cards bridge you to your higher, higher self. That's cool. And, oh, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, okay, so... There's a whole bunch of names at the bottom, so this will be fun for me. I might just have to not, because it'll drive everybody nuts if I'm mispronouncing, which is fine. I'll, I'll, I I'll, think just for the sake of everybody when we use these, I will have to, now that I know how to pronounce, but I will have to, um, beautiful, huh? If I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm just going to say, here's the word. Some people can figure that out. But look at this one. <gasps> look at that. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. I'm so excited. So one of the things you want to do when you get a new deck, and I would look it up because there's other there's different ways to do it. So what I do, and it's because I've been taught to do it this way, so I can't really tell you because, again, I'm more of a facil facilitator here. I'm not the expert. So I use these to facilitate personal growth, spiritual growth, have conversations, but I'm not the expert. Um, I only do what I was told to do. <laughs> and so I can't really tell you why, but one of the things you do. And so if somebody here in the comments, they might, people might share why we do certain things. So that would be amazing because there's a lot of people who are experts um, in doing energy work. And I, you know, I'm just go, I just go with my intuition, but basically, so you knock three times, knock, Three times on the ceiling if you want me. <laughs> okay, so then um, what you want to do, and what I do, is I touch every card. So when it's a new deck, or if the deck hasn't been used for a while, and if somebody else touches your deck, okay? Because if somebody else touches your deck, then there's some energy, then their energy's on it, okay? So what I'll do is I will go through and touch each card while I say my prayer. So I'll just do a few so you get the idea. So I'll just say, I close my aura to all but my higher self, the God consciousness, my guides and guardians, and ask Archangel Michael to please protect this channel so it's only of the light. Amen. And then I just keep repeating, basically, okay, until I get through the whole deck, okay? And that is a good clearing ritual. And again, it's just to clear any energy as it has been traveling in, you know, on the Amazon truck 
Um, and so, and just wherever it came from and different people's hands on them. And so you just want to clear that energy. Now, other people might use crystals on it. I probably could do a clearing with the um, spirit guides, with the rods. Um, I feel comfortable. I've asked the guides if this is enough. But, you know, again, I'd be curious to see what other people think. So this is the, the back side of the card. Isn't that beautiful? It's got um, some foil on it. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So that's that deck. I'm excited. It's going to be so much fun, like, every month just using a different deck in the community. And in, in the public channel, I will pull, like, they just, we won't have, like, a series. But every once in a while, I'll just use a different deck um, when I do different readings. So um, that would be very fun. Okay, so the next one, I'm kind of excited about doing this because I think there's, there's a lot of healing that we need to do. So I'm unveiling unboxing this one this one's going to be easy to unbox it's a little sticker so we I, as a society especially women but men too we have a lot of body image things that we need to work on and so this one is a body gratitude deck of cards body gratitude now i will use these for myself and if the community in the um spirit circle I'll have it as an option. If if the majority of the community is like mm, not feeling it, then um, then I won't use it. But so it will be up to the community. But I thought, what a good option. So it's basically affirmations to accept and celebrate your incredible body. I love that. So can you imagine like we spend a month, and maybe it's January because that's the time when people are you know focused on it. Maybe that would be a good idea. So. So these are kind of fun because, so the box basically, it just had that little sticker on it and then it just come in this, came in this little box. So these have, let's see, on the back side, real simple images, which I love. So what I will do is, as I always do, is show the image first. Here's, this is cool. Show the image first so people can see how they respond to the image, what they get from it. Isn't that beautiful? I love the simpleness of these. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I love that. And then on the back, there's affirmations. And so we'll spend time reading. So this one, I am capable of so much more than perfect. Oh, I love that. I am capable of so much more than perfect. Oh, Anne Lamont. Do you guys know Anne Lamont? She's one of my favorite authors. And she's been um, to my hometown. And I've been to see her. And I love her. She's just so down to earth and says it how, how, how she really, I mean, she's very truthful. So her on this back of this car was Anne Lamont. Perfection is shallow, unreal, and fatally uninteresting. I mean, right? Perfection is shallow, unreal, and fatally uninteresting, Anne Lamont. I'll, um, since now that I brought her up, I'll link a couple of my favorite books of hers if you want to check it out. But she, And then the, the, the affirmation for this card, it's this one right here, is I am capable of so much more than perfect. Oh my gosh, I've never heard that affirmation before. It's beautiful. So this is a cool deck. I'm loving this already. Super excited about that one. Okay. You know, and you could literally have a card and, you know, like I'm doing with the community. And in fact, I'm going to encourage the community soon to, you know, just, I hadn't thought about this when we started it, but get a journal, get a deck, you know, like this, and it could be your prompt every day, you know, and literally you could just like, you know, you get your prompt, pull your card, shuffle them, pull the one that's right for you, say a little prayer. Just pull the one that's right for you and then do a little journaling uh, on the message you got that day, you know, and it could be a half a page. It doesn't have to be complicated, you know, just something to help you go inside. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have, I'm going to end up like, now that I'm doing, uh, facilitating this community, I'm going to end up with so many contacts. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay. So this one is from Gordon Smith, artwork by Naomi Walker. 
and it's called the Healing Spirits Oracle. Healing Spirits. I mean, how can you not like that name? Okay, so let's see. This is the back of the deck. And let's see what this one looks like. Okay. I might have, oh, yeah. So, you guys, while I'm on taking this out, Today, I just, every once in a while, I'll scroll to see how many subscribers we have. So if you haven't subscribed, would you please consider? Because we're at like 21. I would love to get to like 30. That would be like our next goal. Who knew I was going to have our subscriber goal? But I do all of a sudden. <laughs> so anyways, here's the story though. So if you've been around the channel, you'll know that the angel number <clears throat> for my mom when she passed in 2013, it's this whole story that I keep sharing, but... For some people, this might be your first introduction here. And so she died in 2013. I always see three, three ever since she's died, especially the first couple of years when I was miserable about it. Um, she sh just showed up all the time, three, 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 three. And sometimes she'll go quiet. It's probably times where I don't, you know, she doesn't feel like I need her around, is my guess. But today, Lately, so actually today is the third, today is the third week. My channel is three weeks old today. This channel with this, yeah, with the Ask the Spirit Guides. So, which is interesting, that's a three, right? And it's November 16th, 11. I'd have to do the math on all this. However, this is really fun. So where's my phone? I, I guess I don't have it, but... I took a picture of it because I happened to just, you know how you have to refresh sometimes to see numbers on your phone? So it was 21, 21, 4. Okay, so 21,214. So somebody had unsubscribed. And so it ended up being 21. So I, I refreshed and it, somebody, I saw the, I saw the number shift. So it went from four to three. So it's 21. 21, 3. I mean, seriously, 21. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. And the, and she just happened to be like, eh, well, let's just, you know, you lost a subscriber. Let's do it now. So 3, 3, 3. I mean, I would, I mean, <laughs> ah, so my sister and I are a thousand percent convinced because of all these synchronicities that have been happening with her is that she is totally partnering in this with us and it, it feels like it because it's just been like happened so fast even though we've been building our you know building our yeah we're just older so you know building building our life life experience to get to this point basically so i don't want anybody to think that things just always happen overnight because they typically don't so um but, you know, you build up to things. And then when you're really ready, it's like, boom, you know, it can happen like that. Okay, so the Healing Spirits Oracle. And this one is more of a box, if I can get it open. I like the ones where the lid just kind of, you know, and it's got that magnetic in there. Okay, so there's a little booklet. So it looked like that one, the Body Gratitude, that one doesn't have a booklet. Um, but that's okay. It just has the affirmations and the quotes. So this one is a little booklet and it, it looks like it's labeled, it's numbered by card. So I like that. That's easy to find. It's harder for me to find. I have one deck of tarot and that's the angel card ones that I use quite a bit. That Excuse me. That's what I started using. I have people with sensitive hearing and they probably just heard me burp. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so this one, but the, it's, they're harder to find. I have to like, you know, because they're actually divided by, um, I'm not even sure what the word is, um, but they're divided by category. Basically. I know people who know tarot, they're like, they're divided by, what is it? I can't think of the word right now. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So, oh, these are beautiful. So it comes and it's got this little, we're going to undo this together. Hello. Uh, 
All right. Then again, I would clean, I would clear these. And oh, I was saying like some people might use crystals on them. You could put them at, on a windowsill. I do that with crystals. If I get crystals, you can put them on a windowsill, especially on a sunny day. If the, if some sun could radiate on them, it's real cleansing. So you can do that too. So here's the back of the card. So every card has that backing. And so let's just look at a few of them. Ooh. You came to serve. Wow. So again, this is uh, the healing spirits. So they're going to look more like spirits. All is well. Very calming. What is that? Don't fear change. Embrace it and grow. There's a little person right there. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. It looks like a little person kind of orchestrating and stars coming. Ooh, that's interesting. It looks a little alien-ish. Just the hands, but it's like a branch, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw the hands right away, so, and the heart. Interesting. Oh, these are going to be fun. So, yeah, so we'll, oh, look at that. Beautiful. You have the power to make yourself better. Oh, look at that. Is that, a, it looks like there's a, literally a light on shining at us. That is amazing. So I will link these below. They would be um, affiliate links, but um, it's a great way to support the channel if you are interested. But I really just was really interested in showing you. And, you know, sometimes you can't see, obviously, if you buy them online, you don't always know what they're going to look like. So, and I'm really trying to get ones that are just in matte. I do like the, the matte better, just personally anyways. Um, but they have to resonate with me in terms of what the purpose of the, of the cards are. Okay, so there's that one. And then we have Ask Your Guides. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know these existed. So that's quite perfect for this channel. All right, so let's see. What do these look like? Ask your guides. <clears throat> so I'll be getting some other ones, and I'll do another. If you guys like these, I mean, you'll have to tell me if you like it. Obviously, if people watch it, then I'll know. But um, if you can give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment, then I'll know. Otherwise, I, you know, I just won't. I won't do another one, but look at how beautiful. I mean, don't they just bring you so much comfort? So much comfort. It does for me. And here's the back of the box. So strengthen your sixth sense and access divine help. I can already tell I'm going to love these. Whoa. Another little box slides off. Same little, most of them come, unless they're just like that, affirmations come with a little booklet. And this one doesn't have pictures inside, but it's just, you know, it's got like words for you to interpret, um, which you'll find me reading off of. So, and it's just enough, right? It's not that much. It's so nice, especially when you're busy and you don't have a lot of time. The inside of the box, co curly co-create a life you love with the universe by your side. This is exactly what we're doing here. Finding the answers within, co-creating our relationship with our spirit guides. They are our best friends. They are our best friends. Our second best friends can be the people on earth, but they are our best friends. They are always there for us, 100%. I love that. This is exactly the whole purpose. We might just have to use this deck all the time. Because <laughs> it is the so really the whole purpose. I'm going to pull that little tab off of this channel. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. So that's the backside of all the cards. Love it. Matte. And so let's take a, a look at some of these. Oh my goodness gracious. Boredom. Teacher guides. I wonder what that message is. Look at how beautiful that is. 
Oh, my. Decisions, higher self. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be really fun. I have a feeling we'll see. We'll see which uh, deck the, the folks in the um, spirit circle is going to pick next month. But I probably, well, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of would be, it'd be interesting to get a holiday one, but that might be a little tricky because people have different. I wouldn't do a religion, like, I wouldn't do a Christmas one specifically, but holidays. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Does that just not make you so happy? Closure, guardian angel. So I don't know. There's two different meanings plus the plus the number plus the image. But these images, you'll have to tell me which one's your favorite one. So we have the yogic path. So that was the first one. This one right here. And then we have the body gratitude. So if you had to pick one, what would be your favorite? Healing spirits. And then, but don't let me sway you. Just which one called to you? You know, you can tell which one called me the most. And which is, isn't that interesting? Because that's the one that I named this channel. So, all right. Well, that was, I, it was fun for me. I don't know. I'm trying different stuff. Let me know if you, if you like this. It'd be awesome if you subscribed again. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.